Yikers gas in California, $4.98 a gallon. I've already put $75 in. They must have a limit because my card will only do 75 at a time. I'm going to have to do it two more times. So this is what I love so much about traveling this part of the country. Look at this back here. It's nothing but trees all around us. We are actually in the middle of the Lawson Forest. Might be Lassen, L-A-S-S-E-N. And this is in California. Now this is a really cool thing right here. Back this way about two hours is Reno, Nevada. And as we turn around and follow the road this way, you can see how you either have to turn right or left. Now if you turn right, you're going to go to a place called Bernie Falls. And Bernie Falls we've been to before. That is actually where they shot the railroad scene, the train scene where the kids are running from the train across the long train bridge in the movie Stand By me and that is located in Bernie Falls. But today we are going to be turning left and that's going to take us to Redding, California to a place called All Wheel Automotive. And if you guys remember two years ago All Wheel is the company that saved us after we blew the engine and got stranded on top of Mount Shasta driving from Redding out to Eureka, California to the Redwoods. We never did make it to the Redwoods because we blew that engine and we ended up going to Oregon. But guys, take a quick look here at this forest and then we're gonna get on the road and get to Redding. I absolutely love this shot right here where you can see the long road behind us there, the RV pointing this way where we're going, all these awesome trees surrounding us. And if you also notice and take a close look here, you can see how there's a lot of black on these trees. And that's because the last time we were here, they were dealing with the forest fires. All right, that's enough of that. It's taken me about a half an hour to film this little clip because every time a car or a truck goes by, it is so absolutely loud. I have to stop talking and do everything again. All right, guys, we are here at All Wheel in Redding, California. Look at this, they are loaded with RVs they're working on, as well as cars. Here we are parked over here. We just got our car unhooked, and we are pretty much ready to roll. We just need to go in and talk to them and get all the details worked out. Oh my gosh, look at all these bugs that are smashed on this windshield. How insane is that? Okay, that's taken care of. RV is dropped off, everything's set up, and we are now at our second reason for being in this area, this restaurant right here, guys. Check this out. Lumberjacks, or as we call it, Yumberjacks. <laughs> Look at this. We got a giant lumberjack right here. We have smoke billowing out the top, and I can't even tell you how good it smells. Oh. Guys, they give you an entire mini loaf of bread with your dinner here. Look at the door handle here. It's an axe. <laughs> you guys may remember this from our last video when we were out here. Look at this. Lumberjacks where the big boys eat. And y'all know I'm a big boy. And this is the best part right here, guys. Dinners come with a mini loaf of bread, which is so delicious. I think this is what I'm going to get right here. And we'll begin with the sweet potato fries. Look at this, guys. Split the mini loaf open and pour the butter in. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that was delicious as always. Let's stop and get a selfie here with Mr. Lumberjack in the back. There we go. Ready? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this hot mess of a room we're in. <laughs> this place is such a disaster right now. So, all right, I'll come back to this in a second. But this is our room here at the Sheraton. I'm probably being too loud because we woke up at like 5 a.m. Couldn't go back to sleep. So we're getting up, getting ready to go to uh, breakfast here. But what a mess it looks like in here right now. We're actually overlooking the pool here so that's a pretty cool view out our uh, our window here but yeah look at this contraption we have over here as you can see the air vent is right up there and it's pointing down so it shoots the freezing cold air straight down on the bed so we had to come up with some kind of a contraption to deflect the air so this is what we did here. I mean, it works. <laughs> but look at this, guys. This is the same hotel that we stayed at 
when we blew the engine and we were out here last time having the work done. If you remember this Turtle Bay and the Sundial Bridge, the Sundial Bridge is like just walking distance from here, but we're staying at the same hotel here. Very nice Sheraton, very expensive though. And we are also preparing to go to breakfast at the place that we went to a few times while we were staying out here the last time. It's called Country Waffles. Really good breakfast. We're just basically using this time to kind of redeem that bad experience. And here the lady is with her coffee. <laughs> 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. She was just like, I'll take my regular. <laughs> Quick shot of our breakfast here. We have crepes and eggs. I would be willing to bet those are over medium. A couple of sausages little uh, waffle that was supposed to be pancakes and <laughs> some potatoes and an awesome chili omelet all right so we went out for a little bit today we filmed a spirit halloween the only one that is in this area the next closest one is three hours away in every direction um we went to see the equalizer three which we thought was a pretty dang good movie and now we're sitting in here in the room um, trying to decide what to do for dinner. And we're looking at this menu for this restaurant that is connected to this hotel. And I'm telling you what, I don't know why, but they like just think they are something special in here. Like the menu is on this uh, TV here. And I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but look at these prices, man. Okay, stone oven pizza. Look, not even just the, the prices, but look at the kind of pizza it is. This stuff is crazy. Locally sourced mushrooms, asparagus, basil pesto. Like, yeah, I'll take that pizza. Um, <laughs> and then over here, ribeye, 50 bucks. A burger, 24 bucks. Scallops. Look at this over here. We have uh, lion's mane and duck breast. This is insane, man. And we really don't want to go out. We just want to kick back here in the room. And I tried to pull up DoorDash, too, and, like, the only thing on there is Subway, which really wouldn't be too bad. I mean, that's that's not a bad option yeah, that's true. for one twentieth of the price. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Is that the only one on? That's the only one on there. You want Subway? I don't, I wouldn't mind it. We just might be doing Subway. Okay, so I was wrong. We had the wrong address in on DoorDash, and we fixed the address, we got Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, so what was supposed to be uh, two nights here in this hotel, and then back on the road and on our way to Oregon, has once again turned into more nights. <laughs> um, we heard from All Wheel today, and the check engine light had been coming on. So they checked that, and I honestly don't remember what they told me it was, um, something I don't understand because I'm not a mechanic. Um, but they had to order parts, and the parts will not be here till Monday. So we have to stay another four nights here. So we've been looking on Airbnb. I looked at all the local hotels. It's not that this isn't a nice hotel. It's just not comfortable. It's not comfortable to sit here in the bed. They have this little couch over here that's like a half a couch it's not comfortable at all we have this one table over here and that's not comfortable at all so we're going to rent an airbnb for uh we're here tonight yet and we're going to get it for the next three nights after that done which will take us to tuesday and by that point we should be ready to roll so this is the one that we settled on right here it's right here in Reading, and it is apparently walking distance from where we're at even so it's apparently like right around the bend here or something um it's going to be about 1100 bucks for three nights but it'll give us an entire house that we can just you know relax in and have a whole kitchen washer and dryer and we've talked about that before you know the benefits of renting an airbnb over just a hotel it's only a little bit more money than it would be to get a hotel and like i said you know you get like the entire house so once we leave here in the morning we will be 
going to get some things done during the day, and then we'll head over there, check in about three o'clock, and we will show you guys around the place. And we're back at Lumberjacks. Little Lady is enjoying some coffee right there in an awesome giant mug. And we got these pumpkin pancake bites, which are absolutely delicious, but they are super hot just like her. Okay, here's the proper way to do it. Cut this sucker in half, bring it over and dip it in the coffee. <laughs> look how it absorbs that. And look at that steam just rolling off of there. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh yeah. Mm. And this is why we love Lumberjack so much. Look at the size of this breakfast here. This is Meat Lovers um, skillet or something. It's on top of potatoes here with eggs. This is the side of biscuits and gravy. I don't even know what that thing is. And then this is Marion's ginormous sausage platter. All right, we are here at the Airbnb and we are pleased. <laughs> and we have recliners. Yes, oh, recliners were a definite must. Oh. Look at this guys, this place is really a very very nice house and this is the kind of airbnb that we like a home that was actually someone's home not just a house that somebody bought and they threw a couple pieces of crap up on the on the walls and bought some furniture at the goodwill this is a really nice place this was actually the childhood home of the person who owns this house and rents it out right now. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of this house here before we even get unpacked. There's the little lady kicking back back there already. Yeah, definitely recliners were one thing that we had to find because the hotel rooms are so uncomfortable with those crappy little pieces of furniture that they offer and sitting up in the bed, it's killing your back. So we needed to find a place that had recliners. And usually in these houses that you find are that are actually owned by people who lived in them as a home, you find recliners. So anyway, this is the living room right here. As you can see, we got a couple of fans going. We do have the air conditioning on. We're gonna come through the right here and you'll see that there's a piano. I'll bet you anything that thing's been in here since day one. <laughs> so it's kind of dark in here because we don't have a whole lot of lights on, but enough where you can see. We got a nice big bathroom here. There's a tub back in the corner as well as a walk-in shower over here. Right off the bathroom, we have the master bedroom. And you can see it has a ginormous California king size bed here. That thing will be very, very comfortable. This is a huge bedroom here. Let me just come over here in the corner and I'll show you. Look at this. We got mirrors on the closet over here. Giant bed. There's so many different pieces of, I don't even know what you call them, architecture or whatever. I mean, look at this. We've got these tile floors here. And I'm sure they are a specific type of tile floors. All the wood is the same kind of wood here. And then up here, you've got these wooden beams. You've got uh, bricks, brickwork throughout the home. And these awesome doors that almost look like barnwood doors. And then something that fell off the door right here. Oh, it must be like a privacy thing. Shh, sweet dreams in progress okay we'll hang that right back on there come out this door here and you got a long hallway that comes down to two more bedrooms and i believe another bathroom um here is one of the bedrooms here another king size bed pretty decent sized bedroom obviously we only need one so we're going to be using the one down the hall here is another bedroom here like if you had kids I think you call this a trundle bed. It actually pulls out from underneath and there are two beds, almost like bunk beds. There's a TV in here, an Xbox 360 it looks like. And then out here again, we have another bathroom. So two bathrooms in this house. And then outside these doors is a pool and hot tub, which we'll show you in a minute here. But let's go ahead and walk back down through the hallway here back out through the living room and I love how in these areas of the house you can see all the way through we got this big like picture window here so if you were sitting here playing the piano you could actually see what's going on in the living room 
And then this pass through over here as well, where you can see into the dining room. So we'll take you down the hall here. And here is the dining room. We got a nice big table here. There's the pass through I was talking about over there. You can't actually walk through there. There's some brickwork down here. It looks like there was probably water in there at one point, but not anymore. Nice big windows everywhere to let natural light in. And then again, here's this big window here. You can look through to the kitchen. More brickwork here. And then another table here where we'll probably sit and play some skipbo. Nice big kitchen here. There's a washer and dryer through that door there. Nice big windows again to let in a lot of natural light. And then if you're in the kitchen here, you can see through there to the dining area. And we go back this way towards the living room again. Pretty simple layout. Very nice house. We're very glad to have found this place and for it to have been available because it's so much better than a hotel. So let's go ahead out here and take a look at the pool. We've got this enormous patio area back here where we can sit out. We got a grill over here if we want to make some steaks or something. And then here is the pool and hot tub. We're obviously not going to be using the hot tub. And here is the pool. This is what I was talking about where it looks like it hasn't been painted since the day it was put in. But, I mean, it's not dirty. It's just simply that it's missing the coat of paint that was originally there. So it does look darker than it should look, and there are a lot of leaves and things on the top there. But I can easily get out the... Uh, fishing net over there clean those up and we can float around in this pool little gas fireplace area over here another table and sitting area over here under the shade if we wanted to sit out here and work on our laptops or have something to eat maybe uh play some games or something by the pool and this airbnb is very well stocked up too we've got towels that are already hanging out here ready for us for when we use the pool um you know, different Airbnbs that we've been to that have had pools have not always been nice and organized. But here's some pool toys here. We can float in the pool, and they are neatly stacked here. Because really, what else are you going to do with pool toys? And as you know, we have been to Airbnbs where the pool toys are just kind of thrown around and deflated and just a mess. But this place looks really nice, very well organized, very well put together. And despite needing to clean the leaves and things out of the pool there, very nice backyard area here. So there is just a quick look at the Airbnb where we are staying for the next three night, guys. We're gonna go ahead out to the car, get our things and bring everything in, make ourselves at home here. And then I think we need to make a trip to Walmart to get some food and things like that. Okay, so we've been out here at the pool swimming and I did a little bit of research. Now granted, yes, it is a little bit dirty, the filter is not on right now. I don't quite understand how to turn that thing on or probably comes on on a schedule. But I did a little bit of research about this pool and it's actually called a black bottom pool. So it is actually painted black on the inside rather than blue like what we're used to. Now it does still look like it could use a painting again, but you can tell how it is dark in there. So it's a black bottom pool, and the purpose of that is so that it will attract the sun and heat up the water better, and you don't need to actually have an external heater. And that doesn't mean the water is super hot either. <laughs> it's actually pretty cold getting in. It's actually pretty cold getting in, just like that one KOA that we were at recently. But once you're in there, it's pretty warm. And then when you get out for a minute, like to get a pool toy and you get back in, the water is actually pretty warm. So we've been to Lumberjacks, I think three times now, while we've been in town here in California. And today- And they know us. And they know us. And they know us. <laughs> today we went again and we brought some stuff home, including some dessert. We have got to show you this. You're gonna be shocked. Chocolate cake and pumpkin cheesecake. Now, which one do you think? Whose is whose? <laughs> yeah. If you guess that is Nathan's, you're right. If you guess that's mine, you are right. 
And yours came with ice cream too, didn't it? <laughs> yes. What the heck, it took man? Me four days to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this pool looks a hundred percent better now, guys. We called the uh, the owners of the Airbnb, and we told them that the filter was not running. Like this little thing right here, it wasn't running around the inside of the pool. And you guys could probably tell from when I first looked at it that there was a lot of like leaves and little debris and bugs and stuff like that that had fallen off these trees and blown into the pool. And um, they came over this morning and they got the filter going and now this thing is like crystal clear. Looks great. We've been in it a couple times just floating around having fun. Marion was laying out on one of the chairs over there and I was sitting at the table doing my videos. And this is just a perfect example, like what I said before, you know, where we've had some bad experiences at Airbnbs, but this is one of the best ones right here. And this is so much better than just being in a hotel room. And it's about the same price too. Entire house to ourselves. We got the whole back deck here. We got our own private swimming pool to go swimming. And I forgot to show you guys too. My beautiful wife got a new hairdo. Look at that. Who are you trying to look like there? Dame Judy Dench. Judy Dench. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> so a very strange little happening this morning. Okay, in this house we have the bathroom down here, right off of the bedroom we're staying in. And then down this hall here, there's another bathroom down there, which I showed you the other day. So we both got up the same time this morning. I'm like, I'll go use the other bathroom to get ready. You use that one. I come streaming down this hall butt naked. <laughs> right past these doors right here. And there's somebody out there at the pool, right outside the doors. So I hide right back here in this little cove. And I'm talking to Marion down there. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I actually have my... um. My swimsuit hanging in this bathroom so I was able to put that on but there was a guy out here who had drained the hot tub and was apparently cleaning it I don't know if he was also like cleaning the pool or what was really going on because he had some big tubes like strewn all around out here some buckets and stuff like that we didn't get any kind of a notification that anybody was coming and that's one of the weird things about Airbnbs um, I mean, they should let you know, obviously, but they didn't in this situation. And it seems to me that we've had similar things happen before. Um, but the guy had the hot tub, like, completely drained. I didn't see him doing anything with the pool. However, I do see that, like, the things we left floating in there are out now. And the water looks a lot more murky than it was. So I just wonder if he put, like, a bunch of chemicals in there or something now. And... I mean, do we have to wait to go swimming? We haven't been in the hot tub, it's too hot. But do we need to wait to get back in the pool? Or what's the deal now? We haven't had any kind of contact from the owners. Maybe they're not even aware that the people showed up. The other thing was that like, when the owner came over the other day to turn on the filter, they said, make sure you have the gate unlocked. Now it's unlocked, but I had to come out here and unlock it so the owner could get in. This was locked. How did they get in? He must have like reached his hand through here and down and pulled this. That's weird. And I had been laying in bed and I knew I heard some kind of movement. And I'm like, is there like a mouse in here? Is there somebody walking around outside? What is going on? And then I hear this bzzzing. It was like a phone and neither one of our phones make that sound. And I knew it wasn't crazy. And right after that is when the indecent exposure happened. <laughs> we just had, what did we have? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. And it was pretty tasty, but we're just back in this position where we're just like sitting here waiting. Now granted, we're in an awesome place. We have a pool out back there that we could get in at any time. So we're not complaining. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> We've been through this before, and it gets to a point where this was not our intent. We're not on a vacation. We're not out here, you know, like having rented this place and then driven halfway across the country to get to it. Actually, 
all the way across the country. <laughs> yeah. But um, we're waiting to hear from the mechanic about the RV, and we're supposed to check out of here tomorrow. So I'm praying we hear soon, at least so that we have that um, that relief and we can start preparing and getting ready to go. Or we're going to be staying in the RV in the lot over there. No, no, no. <laughs> I certainly don't want to go back to the hotel, uh -huh. but I mean, worst case scenario, I'll contact these people and see if we can get another day or two. Oh, a day. <laughs> I mean, hopefully one don't day. Look or two. <laughs> uh, I just want to get on the road and get home. You know, yeah, I want to get on the road, want. do what we're out here to do, and get home. We're not complaining about being here. It's just that we have. We have a, what do you call agenda. it? Agenda. A focus, an agenda yeah. that we need to get to and get home. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, we're, we, this wasn't our intent to come out and be on vacation anywhere. And so right now we're just kind of sitting here in limbo, even though I have some work I can do. We're just sitting here in limbo, not accomplishing what we're out here to do and spending more money than we need to spend and want to spend yeah okay so it is our last night in this airbnb last night was supposed to be our last night and we ended up booking another one because the rv wasn't quite ready yet um I, we heard from him today it'll be ready tomorrow so in fact it's supposed to be done today so when we get out of here tomorrow we're supposed to be going over there paying for it and hitting the road and we are so ready <laughs> today we took a trip out to sacramento filmed a couple of spirit halloweens and back it was almost a three hour drive each way so we're just exhausted tonight we got about half our stuff packed everything except for what we really can't pack until tomorrow and uh and then we'll be back on the road and we're heading to Oregon. Mm -hmm. Thank God. <laughs> Get this over with. All right, next morning we are all packed up, ready to roll. We're getting in the car here, going to get the RV. Thank God. I'm so ready. We're so ready to get on the road to our next destination, which is going to be Oregon. So stick around and. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm.